you know, what players were left on mouse and keyboard. And so it's interesting to see, right? It's also interesting to see with the different changes to movement, who's going to be dominant, right? So we see a lot yeah. of uh, some of the movement. I, I love to see the slide. You can do some creative like slide jump combos to get a little bit of speed. Uh, you know, we've seen Leaf already showcase the amazing movement power of the uh, grapple hook, which is really yep. similar to the grapple of Pathfinder in Apex. So, um it does. It, it's very. It's, it's eerily that. similar, almost like the okay, everything. All right. So, do they take the commando off the start? I have no. <laughs> Leave it alone. But take it. Take it. No, take it and throw it on the ground. That's what they should do. <laughs> take yeah. it up and pick up the first plasma pistol you find. Yeah. I think our scoreboard needs to be updated for this match as well. Uh, yeah, I'll I don't do know it. If it's just on my end. Yeah. So I am on board here with base guy. You gotta love how bright these scope ins are on the, the BR and the sniper now. And I, I will say this also, one thing I've noticed with these new uh, color overlays, the red and the blue, uh, I find myself seeing a lot more people than I normally would have seen because of that highlight. Yeah. It, Great nade by base guy here. Yeah, Saya gonna be pushing in, but he's got support here. Goes for the second beat down. You gotta love that there. Two to one here for Butt Chug and Base Guy. And so I, I agree with you though. It's an interesting thing that games are doing nowadays. I know, you know, Val, Val for me was really the first one that did this highlight kind of thing um, in order to bring attention to people in the background. Um, so maybe I'm a little bit more used to it than most players, but we see Leaf and Saya pushing in and they're gonna find a double that kill here. really aggressive by Brett there. He wanted to try to clean up that absolute person. Yep. And I think he should have valued his life a little bit more there. We see the uh, ping you know, out of Saya really there. He's utilizing the in-game ping system to show Leaf where those players are spawning. Gotta love it. Anticipated the spawn out of Gravy and Base Guy. Jumping in here, they're trapped in this hallway. He's gonna be able to pick up the back smack there. Gravy's gonna have to get pressured there, but he's gonna be able to find there. So five two. You want to see a little bit more passive play out of you know Gravy and Base. Maybe try to get out of those little tight rooms on Aquarius and get a little bit more into the objective middle of the map area. See pressure. Really, just here. all about staying calm in this early game. You don't want it to snowball too far. Um, it's gonna be a. See, you gotta trade a little bit more damage there. Lots of beatdowns coming in, kind of sloppy. Nice double kill there from Leaf. Yeah. Yeah, the beatdown, definitely the favored form of attack here. As we see, Gravy's going to pick up one, though. That's good. That's going to yeah. get them a confidence a little bit back here. 7-3, the score yeah. line. We've seen Leaf Plenty and Saya take out a number of really solid teams in this, in this uh, tournament so far. So we know that they are a top contender. So we see something's... Oh, it seems oh, like... it looks like a disconnect from uh, base guy there, so this one will have to be restarted. Yep, I'll contact everybody. 7-3 will be the starting point, it looks like. Um, uh, yeah, 7-3, yeah. That last kill shouldn't count there. Well, it's nice to see that uh, disconnects are still a thing. <laughs> Well, I will say this. Uh, I think this is a good thing for Brett and Base Guy right now. You you definitely want to use this to like reset your mentality and your approach. Yeah, I agree. They they needed a second there to kind of reset themselves, um, get their feet under them. So a seven three. 7-3 score line there, but we've seen Leaf and Saya, like I said, they've taken out some really solid teams, right? So we know that they, these guys are new to the PHDO, have not seen them play before, but you can see that they're clear, you know, high-level Halo players. And so coming in here, this is a tall ask for the likes of Gravy and Base Guy, championship players from last name, but beautiful to find themselves, you know, in the winner's uh, bracket semifinals here in their first tournament infinite. That's got to give you some confidence. I mean, even if you yeah. don't go on, that's another thing about this tournament. It's got to build, build you confidence, right? You go on and you make the finals. Even if you don't win the finals, you know, you go in and make the semifinals when you were coming into this tournament thinking, hey, maybe we'll be out in the first round. That's got to build yeah. a lot of confidence for you coming into season three. Uh, you know, and Infinite as a whole, as well as some other tournaments that will be running. So, and that that's exactly what I think this a lot of this tournament is. It, it's a great time to get yourself acquainted to the skill level you're going to need to compete in the PHDL 
or just to see how you progressed. Uh, you know, if you're the oddball players that uh, drew a relatively hard starting uh, lineup with P Pazuzu and Comeback Zach, uh, you know, you take so – you're excited. You know, you, you won Open last year. Now you're looking – forward to more challenging things how are you going to compete with these guys and uh this is a great way to find that out yep see if we can get them we are ready whenever they are ready do we have any uh updates from anything uh, oh we are getting underway here do we have any updates from any of the other games yet the uh the foxy and doc match just began it's 2-1 off the rip right now foxy and them ahead a lot of crazy PR shots at the beginning of that match Yeah, that's going to be a good game. Foxy and Zvira. Foxy, obviously, a uh, runner-up on the PHGO Premier uh, season there, so definitely a favorite coming into this tournament. But there were a lot of unknowns as well, like the likes of Leaf and Sayman. New guys coming in, didn't really know what to expect from them, but putting on a good show here for their first time on the PHGO broadcast. So 7-3 is our scoreline. Keep that in mind. Leaf and Sayman up by 4. So the butt chug, excuse me, gravy and base guy will be able to uh, and, maybe take a uh, breather Saucy, and come back into this one. Saucy, uh, uh, pointing out the fact that we do have an Onyx player with uh, Brett here. Uh, he's been grinding and ranked, uh, coming along really well. So fun to see what he can do. Leaf does have camo here. He's going to be pushing up the right side here. He's going to run into gravy here in a second, but he elects to go up to middle here. So he's actually not going to find that fight with gravy guys wonder what the communication was like there to uh for him to not feel like he could wrap all the way around there yeah but he's gonna sneak up on base but there's that heat wave not gonna find that one but he's able to clean up the double kill as we move Great on to two to one here there to clean both those up, though. so the score line we are looking for is gravy and base need to hit that 22 kill mark meanwhile help me do math here they 18, need to, 18, 18. I was almost at 19. I'm glad I waited. <laughs> it's okay. If Tunzi would have done it, it probably would have been like, he would have said they needed 25 to win. They needed 28 to win. <laughs> they were they were negative three at the, the reset. Get, I think they need 42 kills. I'm not sure, but fearless, check my math on that one. <laughs> You're right. You're right. I uh, see base guy getting taken down there again. That heat wave being utilized. It's interesting to see them utilizing that. I, I don't know how I quite feel about that weapon yet. So, But Seiya and Leaf enjoying that one for sure. See some pings coming in that we see Gravy and base spawning in the back of their base there. Gravy's going to run into Seiya there. Looks like he is going to be able to pick up that kill. Big kill out of them. With your favorite weapon. Favorite weapon there being used. Oh, he's electing to use the commando. Maybe he feels a little bit more comfortable with it. Interesting. Camo coming up in tons. Just being able to accurately describe where a player is. It's just so nice. Oh, big kill there with the last shot as Gravy's going to look to stay alive. Can base oh, find it? He's going to find the trade on the Seiya. So a little bit of map control here for Gravy. He's going to find himself a camo. Is going to be taking get out there, shots man. from Leaf, but he is going to find the camo now. Patient play here. Try to find you your way to... into a flank. Exactly. You have the, all the weapons you want right now. Uh, you have the advantage here, so just don't overextend. Make sure you come out of camo in a good spot, which yeah. I don't think he did there. Yeah. Uh, he got a little bit below. carried away. Wanted to try to help base, I think. Try to clean up that kill and probably should have just been a little bit more patient here as we see him base get pressured into his own objective here and he's gonna get cleaned up by leaf so we've seen leaf have a great numbers across the board on all of the games he's played so far but seven four this is a seven kill difference game if we count up what we had previously so 14 for the likes of leaf and Seiya here and seven for gravy and base still not out of it yet good there, clean That's from the fun. grave though they gotta they gotta find their way into they're doing a great job getting the trades when they find themselves in a bad position but they gotta find a way to you know pick up maybe two three double kills here to find themselves back into this one with only you know trying to stay alive only giving up one yeah. or two on the back end of that so nades exactly. flying in and Piz, Piz, you're not in the point where you can trade right now. You're too far back. Yep. I know it only says 9-5 on the scoreboard, but it's much more than that at the moment. So uh, you want to make sure you, you got to get that control. And I feel like Aquarius is one of it's a very hard map to get control. There's so many avenues in which you can approach the other team that it makes it very difficult to get that control. 
base going to be able to clean up a kill there. Nice work from him. Looking to stay alive now. He's being pressured by Leaf, but Gravy's putting in shots into him. So Camo's going to come just... up in the 15. Be excited about that kill, you know? Uh, no reason to try to get both at one time here. You got the one advantage there. Trying to get that jump down. We'll see. Oh, uh, see. Whoa, big double kill out of Leaf there. Beautiful I BR I feel like shot. the middle of the map is not where you want to be in that point. Uh, you wanted to rotate around to a corner uh, and try to take him back by surprise. Yeah, I think the sides, like th these top mid sides here, not quite where Leaf is, but maybe a little bit more to the right where the stairs are, I think are a strong point in this map. Uh, I also think the objective, kind of where base is now, if he just yep. pushed up a little bit, is a strong point in this map. But yeah, top mid it, is definitely exposed from multiple angles, so... At least in twos. Uh, yeah. You don't have enough firepower to keep uh, the rest of the team pinned down, you know? And in, in fours, you have plenty of help there. Look at that. That's a great job with the commander. I know he dies there, but he popped those shields very quickly. Yeah, so... I have an update from the Foxy match. That one went from an 11-7, so kind of back and forth at the beginning, to... Foxy and Zavir winning 25 to 10 in game one over Getting there comfortable. over Doc and Spartan. The setup was fantastic by that squad. Uh, really can see the high level caliber play coming from Foxy and Zavir. They are bringing a high level of competition to this tournament. Yeah, absolutely are. We see Leaf here sitting top mid with the heat wave, but he is going to fall to base. Good job cleaning that up. 13 to 8. If we take into account the scoreline previously, we are looking at a 20 to 11 game, I believe. Yep, exactly that. Good math, Binky. <laughs> oh, we did it. We did it. I was Great gonna... Nate <laughs> there. Saya picking up big kills there. So we're now we're looking at the likes of three, three more kills, kills until and Leaf, need. Leaf and Saya take game one of this one here. Still a best of three, so Graving Base Guy have a little bit of time to get back under control in this series and not quite go down but leaf's gonna take them out two more kills here for saya and leaf as base looking to find one but not gonna do so last, last thing you want to do if your base guy there is go right to the exact spot your teammate just died from two people you yeah i feel like you gotta call that out if you're threat and he might have there but you gotta make sure he's aware do not go go that way and yep. that should do it unless they elected to do a full reset nope they did not so that's going to do it there for the first round. Uh, you know, I don't know if Aquarius is one of their stronger mats for Brett. 